Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to hide our visible buttons in the pure side based on the configuration. And in case you missed previous discussion about what is debug mode and how to install debug mode extensions like this, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblast channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development and here different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real task cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow and we have a different social media pages. Make sure you can follow to get the latest update. So let's back to our main topic like how you can hide or unhide buttons in the pure screen. So for example, if I will go to point of sale. And here you can see like uh, last session we already saw like how to add a custom button and then after how to add a custom events right the click event already discussed about this one in case you missed that one please check the POS development playlist I already explained and here like uh, in this discussion we are trying to do one stuff uh, let's say here like I will try to hide any of the button based on the configuration so what I mean is configuration is let's say if I will go to the POS session here in the edit you can see this three uh, checkboxes there right so it's perform the specific operation so I'm trying to also add one more boolean box it's tick that means the specific button visible or else it won't be visible all right so this is the dynamic configuration and that's what we are trying to do in this discussion so here like we already created this pos module but let let me add here one more module let's say the restrict right let me close this one let me add here the manifest file like pos restrictions or oh, let's say n and here temporary i will try to comment this assets and here i will try to add two new directories and the python file and the xml file due to we have to add one more field right in the backend side let's say the model.py file and here let's say the xml x sorry view.xml let me close config visible uh, let's say the backspace button right so backspace bdn fields dot boolean visible back space button all right and the same field we have to register in this form view right so form view means this one so for that like i don't know what is the inherited id right so let me So we have one view tag, right? And the ID is title. And after that, like we are trying to add our field. So you can see here, this is the name field. After the name field, we are trying to add our custom more field. So let me copy this one to save our time. So here like our 
python side is ready and views is also ready so let me register this model in the main init and i will try to add here the specific view view dot xml but in uh, let's say xml folder All right so let me restart the service if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained how to configure odoo in pycharm now uh, let's say i'm going to app store update the module list wbpus right and here i will try to install this module all right so it's successfully installed and here you can see the new button is also visible right so this is the thing now we let me add also a new tab let me open this view session first so now we are trying to hide this one back based on the configuration right so for this one i don't know the what is the template name and what is this button name right so for that we have to dig into this POS module so this is the buttons like one two three quantity the four five six right seven eight nine this is the discount button this is the price and if you want to add anything here you can just use this inherit this template and what i'm doing is i will try to extend this template and i will go to here in the static here like first thing is i will try to remove everything second thing is i will add here this xml signature and third thing is i will try to first close these tags otherwise in a future maybe we forgot then we have an issue in the runtime so here you can see this is the button right and now we, i'm trying to add this button hide or visible based on the configuration so for that like i'm trying to use here the x bar position and definitely i will try to replace this one and i will pass here oh sorry so here let's say button is class right and what is that class name so this one after that like let me copy this button and paste here all right and now we have to also apply here the condition right so let's say what is the condition if this button is true then this button should be visible or else should not be visible right if, if in case it's a false so for that we have to also like let's say do some code here right so for that like i'm trying to remove all the stuff the older stuff and here simple i will try to use the import this module first thing is like let's say at the right autodesk module And here I will try to call the super method, like which is the async, right? Like process data. And here, like let it, let's say the loaded data, the parameter we have to pass. And let me call also the super method. And here we have to pass here the variable name and uh, that variable should having contain this field information true or false so for that like i have to also extend one more class like let's say pos session models dot model inherit equal to like pos dot session and here there is a one default method is there pos data 
process. And the argument would be like loaded underscore data. Let me call also the super method. Right. And here, let's say I will try to add here the specific key, right? Which is anything. You can add anything. But right now I'm doing for my safety purpose this one. In future, I in case. I want to replace anything so I will use try to find out only one keyword so here in the PUS session having a many to one field of this PUS config right so whatsoever configuration is configured in this PUS session we are trying to get this field so here let's say the self dot config underscore ID and dot this field name here like we are getting true or false so that true or false we have to register here in this underscore process data so I'm also trying to use the same name equal to and oh, sorry I will try to retrieve this keyword from this Python file like whatsoever mention you here and this one I will copy and I will paste here and like let's say t desk if env and env dot pos sorry and env dot pos is there and if this is this button is uh, sorry this value uh, having a some let's say true or false right if it is a true then we can display this button if it is a false that means we don't need to display this button that's it and now in the manifest file i will try to uncomment these assets because we registered here and you can see this is the ws ws rights max sure when you copy past add here the correct name or else it will having an issue while you upgrade the module or let's say while you run the pos session so first thing is you can see in the edit you can see it's untick right and now before this refresh the screen you can see this button is visible now the point is we write down some code like right now it's a disable and once i refresh the screen this button is not visible so let's see here okay so there is a, some error is there super is only valid in drive class construction all right oh uh sorry so my bad right we have to do like this in the JS side let me refresh screen one more time all right now you can see there is no error is there right now let me close here and now you can see the all the buttons is not visible at the moment so oh so you can see here uh, we forgot to extend the numpad widget right so due to that it's happening the thing is we don't need to only the copy past but here we have to extend so here we completely forgot the extend right so let's say inherit underscore id right and after that it's working fine so let me restart the service Oh, sorry the s it should not be capital right and now you can see here the button is all the buttons is visible and this button is not visible right and you can see let me close this part and like I will try to add like visible right and again I will try to refresh the screen
all right so the thing is why it is not displayed that the thing is here we didn't register this stuff right so registries dot model dot extend and here this is the name and this is our custom name that's it all right and refresh the screen so you can see this button is visible right and it's performing the same operations here right and now let's say if i will going to here edit and invisible and i will try to refresh the screen you can see this button is not visible right again i'm going to here edit and visible save and refresh the screen you can see this button is visible and working fine right so like this way you can you can do any kind of operations like this way all right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session